Twitter head of engineering resigns after DeSantis campaign launch marred by tech problems. Let's dive into the details, shall we? Fode Dabry, Twitter's head of engineering, announced his resigna resignation from Elon Musk's company on Thursday, a day after the platform's attempt launch of De Ron DeSantis' presidential campaign was marred by technical difficulties. The Daily Mail reports that a day after Twitter's attempt to kick off Ron DeSantis' presidential campaign suffered from massive tech problems, Faux Dabry, the platform, platform's head of engineering, unexpectedly announced his resignation. The launch, which was meant to be a turning point for Twitter, was riddled with technical issues drawing a lot of criticism. The platform was unable to live stream the event's audio, so a hot mic exchange between moderator David Sachs and Twitter's owner Elon Musk was accidentally broadcast. Announcing his departure, Dabry wrote on Twitter, After almost four incredible years at Twitter, I decided to leave the nest yesterday. Although he did not give specific justifications for leaving, he acknowledged that it had been difficult to work since Musk recently acquired Twitter. The combination of the fantastic community, the impact it has, and its limitless potential sets Twitter apart, Dabry said. Working with at Elon Musk has been highly educational, and it was enlightening to see how his principles and vision are shaping the future of this company. Despite 500,000 people tuning in to listen to the beginning of the DeSantis campaign, the beginning of DeSantis's campaign, only half were still online when it finally began due to technical difficulties. Because they were unable to handle the traffic, the servers frequently crashed. Supposedly. It's hard to know if it was actually server issues or production issues. The event's moderator, David Sachs, said the number of people trying to listen was melting the internet. CNN was supposedly informed by a source that Twitter Spaces platform was not intended to accommodate such a large audience. Spaces was largely largely a prototype, not a finished product, the source said. It's a beta test that never ended. Yeah, but I don't know. I get I've seen conflicting reports. Tim Pool was saying that Elon Musk at some point did like a million a million people watching or at least more than 500,000. I think personally, it's more likely it was production problems. I think the campaign, I think is this whole campaign launch was a mistake from like every point of view. His campaign video was bad. Doing it on sp Twitter spaces was bad. You don't even have a good enough production person. They started late. It just all seems like it was a mess. And it's, it's audio only in 2023. What are you doing? You can rewind a hundred years? No, 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 no. You should have did a rally. Put it on TV, put it on, if you wanted to do exclusive Twitter with like something like that, I get it. But I don't know, just how it came across was just not good. And then Trump comes out right away with his campaign ad, and it's like 10 times better. DeSantis, I watched his presidential, well, I listened, I suppose. I listened to his speech, too, and man, that guy, he really needs to get some media training. Like, for real, for real. Like, I couldn't, I listened to it on double time, and I still found it boring. And his principles uh, align right with mine. It's just how the delivery is. I think he just has some bad campaign advisors. He should really switch this up. I, and I, like I've said before, he should have waited till 2028. That gives him another four years of getting this experience, getting, you know, connections in the industry, really learning how to speak. Yeah, in Florida, you can get elected because you're great policies. Which I do like his policies. I do like DeSantis, but on a, on a, a national stage or on a world stage, this is just not gonna play. He's his rule, his delivery, and his announcement, and then his announcement, like one minute announcement video that he put out. Both that announcement video is weird. He's like walking behind the flag or whatever, and then he goes into like some curtain. Now he's in front of the flag on the stage. I don't know. I thought it was really strange. I didn't like it. He should have just done a rally. Done a rally, took bits and pieces of it, and then put that into his campaign, and then maybe he would be more energetic because, you know, he's in front of a lot of people. But I don't know. That is just my opinion. What is your opinion on this story? Please let me know in the comments below. Also, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily news updates. Hit that notification bell and share this video to help spread the news.
Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.